Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro. He'll be along in just a moment. I'm Mike Emery. We hit a team that's been away from home for a long time. It's been a successful trip, and it ends tonight. Is there a caution here? Well, there is, Doc. I think the focus, because... It's a wonderful night for hockey. The Cyclones have the first possession. Cincinnati's setting things up at center. And fired straight up to Brassard. Up the wing with it now. And he steps across the line. Shoots one. He covers and holds on. And let's head down to ice level. Here's Ray Ferraro. You can diagram plays as much as you want. Teams are so close in the league today. Execution is often the difference between a win and a loss. Always appreciate hearing what's going on down there, Ray. Toledo's controlling the play in the defensive zone. Heads along the boards. Decides to curl back a little further. Walleye's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Snaps off a wrist shot. No! Gotta get it on net! Oh, this is a great A chance, but the game is 100 years old. They've never moved the net. Hit it. Seeks the corner. Take it to the slot. Great save, point blank. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Not much going on now. It looks a little bit like a tennis match where they're just bumping the ball. Got his stick on it. Slot shot. Paddled aside. Toledo's lugged it back into their own end. Up the wing still with possession. Let's it go. He scores! That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Good. Oh, tremendous save. Denied a terrific chance. Toledo's offense circles around one of the highest goal scorers in the league. While he can score off the rush, his most dangerous weapon is that quick release. A little under eight minutes have been played in the first period. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's 1-0. Cincinnati's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. Into the end of attack. Around to the corner. Broke it up well with the poke check. Shot, out, score! No goal, no goal. It appears to have been kicked in. The Cyclones can't believe they're even going to review this. They feel this should be a good goal. The referee wants to take a look if it was kicked in. Even though everyone in the building hates this call, it's the right one, Doc. This is no goal. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Good hustle. Won the race. Beat the icing. A shot. Gloved. Oh, if you're a shooter, you don't want to see the goaltender flash his glove like that. Quick shot. A good, solid pass, and they can move ahead up that right wing. He knifed it away. Terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Let's go, Arister. Outstanding save. He'd been focused on this milestone a little bit. He talked about wanting to achieve it as soon as possible. Now he's done it. On a cross shot.
Toledo is controlling play now along the boards. It's dumped in. Enormous collision. Well, we expected a physical game, Doc, and it looked... Got his glove on that one. The Cyclones control the play in the defensive zone. Good standing poke check. Moves it to the shadow of the boards. Good defensive play, hand to eye and center ice. Shoot, that hits somebody. Knocked right off the stick. Onside, good hand to eye and the reach of the stick. Let's it go. Save! Off that right side, he's got a perfect pass. Great stick save. Strong shot deflected out of play. They win the draw. A great opportunity, but he missed the net. You're not going to get many chances right from there. You've got to hit the net. He just misses wide. To Schultz. Directing that one to Martin. Passing one off now to Schultz. Pass through center ice. Inside the final minute. Those cursed goals in the final minute. Will we see one here? Good defensive play. Loose puck, though. Laid on to Schultz. First period is over. The coaches will have something to say to both shooters and goaltenders. Only one goal scored. Lots of time left to play. Underway in period two. Two sticks together, it goes to the offense. And he gains the zone. Good place to shoot from. Oh, stick save. Puck is thrown to Brassard. Pushing it on up the wing. Big drive, deflected off the blocker. Cincinnati's waiting to get things organized in the defensive zone. Let's it go. Sticked away. Right on his stick from the left wing. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Pass cut. Strong play. Toledo's moving it up the wing. Spirited back along, and they can get the forwards off anyway. He lost it. Tumbled down to one knee. Cut through the neutral zone. Perfect pass, tape to tape. He's got it at center ice from right wing. Puck out in front. Oh, what a stop. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Puck's loose, mishandled. Right on his tape, what a long outlet pass. Pass attempt to Birschbach. Puck loose, couldn't get through. Good pass, and he looks ahead from the right wing. Try to clear the puck. Great job stopping and holding. Wide at the net. Oh, close call there. What a scoring opportunity. He had six foot in net to look at. He missed every bit of it. Walking a thin line near the border there. Nicely padded away. Terrific shot. Up the wing and moving well. On the outside, a shot. Great glove save, and he keeps it. There was some room. Not enough. Great glove save. Toledo's in possession as they travel up the wing. A good deke there. Score! That might have gone off a skate and in. When you have the puck there, it keeps the goaltender honest. He doesn't know what you're going to do. Oh, you're right, Enzo. That's an unbelievable move by the forward. But the goaltender seems mesmerized by it, too. Now he can pick the puck up out of his net. Walleye's goal gives them a lead by two. Raises a question, too, here in the second period. 
Do they start to play it a little conservative, or do they go at them and try and make this three right away? Scored by number 55, A.J. Jenks. Assisted by number Gets across, 11. looks over his options. And we get a penalty here. The referee strides over to hand it out. Toledo's got two on this one for tripping. The Cyclones go on the power play for the very first time. Let's see if they can capitalize. Cleared. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. Neutral zone carry. Onside play. Shoots. Oh, what a terrific save in close. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. Shoots. Cincinnati's starting from their own zone. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Looking to Martin. And he steps in. That one is pointed to him. Sticked away. Oh, that was hard to follow. With a strong wrist shot. A lightning-like glove save. Point to point to Martin. Big shot from the point. Got his pad on a changing shot. Can he make him chase it? Tries to clear. Good block and puck possession comes from that. Solid neutralized poke check. That was a great job. Shot back down. More time off the clock. Cleared out, and that forces them to drop back. Cincinnati's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. Blocked. Oh, and what a tremendous job of keeping the puck alive. It's an onside play. Oh, great cut. Toledo's carrying on up the wing. Great take, dangerous area. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near him. Sometimes you got to be in good position just to make the stop, but you also got to be lucky. This puck changes direction and ends up hitting the goaltender more than he stops it. They win it. Turn the shot on net. The Cyclones lug that along through the neutral zone. Gets in. What'll he do? Has it back deep. Skating with it now through the neutral zone. Players tired about to get a rest as we go late into the second period. The Cyclones move toward the neutral zone. They battle on up the wing. Gives it to the point. Fires. Toledo's continuing on up the wing. Flips a wrister. That's a great save. I'm blockered away. That's two periods in the books. One more to go. But a rest comes first. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with some. Two periods played. One period ahead. What are your thoughts so far, Eddie? The Cyclones have had the better of the play, Doc, especially in the category of time of possession. They're down in this third period, but they have to start finishing off some of their chances. And he throws it in, hopes of getting it back. Oh, he staggered him. Pitching this one to Martin. And he is reefed. You got to keep your head up there. Goldie to the bench, extra man over the boards on the delayed penalty. And we get a penalty. Referee to the table, a player to the box. And we get another penalty. The referee goes to the penalty timekeeper. First off, if your stick is on the ice, you're not going to get a penalty. But you can't carry it around like a weapon. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five-on-three power play, and it begins now. They shot it back down. Now they can get ready for another rush. One minute, 29 seconds. Loose puck, the defense got in the way there. Gets in, looks over his options here. 
slides it to the point. Oh, deflected away. And a save. They score! It's only a one-goal game now. Cincinnati's deficit is only one because of that last goal. Let's see if they can tie it up here in the third. They've won the faceoff. And he drops it in deep. He throws it there. Good quick poke check there. One minute, 59 seconds. It's dumped in. And that one out of play over the glass. Clock stopped. Almost impossible not to focus on the mile post in front of you. He wanted to get to this goal milestone. He was able to do it, and he can look back with satisfaction. And that's a face-off win. Mashed in. Has a chance to make a play through the corner. Great move there. Got in front of another one. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Oh, and he is drilled. He's got this one. He's got to hurry. Score! It's another power play goal. Just under three minutes have gone by in the third. The winds have shifted yet again. This game is back in a tie. On the power play. Dumped in. Papoose now picked up. Number 42, final of the goal. Two minutes, 56 seconds. Picked up by Broussard. Brings a shot. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. The Cyclones are starting to be concerned with him here. Not only hasn't he had a point in a number of games, but he's not even creating any chances. That becomes the real red flag. Loose puck, solid defensive play there. Cincinnati's controlling play now through neutral ice. He is shut right off. Motors along up the middle. Gains the zone. Jenks loses that puck while faking in the offensive zone. He tried to do way too much there, Doc. The Cyclones are moving the puck in their own end. He's in! Near the boards. Just a backhand. Freezes play. Schmitz lays the lumber to him. As he cuts to the middle of the ice, he closes the zone where the forward might skate to, and he takes him out. Clean win on the draw. Cincinnati's accelerating ahead through center ice. Whistle blown, play stopped. The referee will hand out a penalty. Jenks has a minor penalty here, and the call is tripping. You can just see the confidence when a team is lightning-like on the power play, and this one is. They get another chance beginning now. Let's it go. Toledo's in their own end and carrying it on. Ah, oh, they got it out. They check the clock and prepare to defend some more. Trying to go to Schultz. Puck skipped away. He was knocked down. One-timer just missed the net. There's not really much place to go with the shot. Got his stick on it. Martin's in his own end, headed towards center. He's in on an onside play. Oh, it's very important if he can get that out. They've taken the heat off again. The clock still moves. Driving through center ice. Fires! Great save at the edge of the crease. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Beat him on that one. Takes a shot. Score! The Cyclones have broken the tie here in the third period. What will they do next? How will they start to play this game? 
Aggressive, passive. Four on the power point by number seven. That play goes offside. And he fires a shot. Oh, I don't know. What is he thinking? That's certainly going to draw a crowd. They used their fists and got a fistful. Five each for fighting. Absolutely nothing from the home team here as their guy just scrapes his way to the penalty box. Oh, that was a grueling scrap. They're going to get a chance to rest for five minutes. A little over halfway through the third. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one-goal contest. No team worth its name is going to let that go. And so, when you do that, you expect this. Doc, he knew he was going to have to fight after making that push week play. This fight's mercifully ended for the visitors. The home crowd is ecstatic. They're making all kinds of noise. I know lots of people like high-scoring games. Well, actually, I'm one of them. But this has been almost like a well-played chess match. There's no room. There's no way that either team can find a way to get many more chances than there's been. Picked up in the attacking zone. One-timer. Covered, whistle blown. Nice face off work. Corral. Great glove save. Now that's a quick glove. Walleye's coaching staff's done an exceptional job this year, moving the pieces of the puzzle around to get the best results. As a result of a lineup that's pretty varied, they're tough to play against, and they lead the league standings as a result. Cincinnati's got possession in neutral ice. Carried to the corner by Schultz. Marvelous save, no time on that one. You talk about cutting down the angle, perfectly executed by the goaltender. Didn't have time, but he saved it anyway. Just under six minutes left to go. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one-goal contest. Big face-off win. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Walleye is in possession now as they move up the wing. He got in. Got that. Tremendous scoring chance. Nice stand-up poke check there. Gotten quickly back. Got it in his own end. Moving it to Schultz. Cincinnati's got it in center ice. He gains the zone. Shoots one. Boot it aside. Grounded again. The Cyclones have left the defensive zone. And he skates it back to regroup. Time one. He's in. Great bad stop. In the fourth period. The Cyclones look to make a difference up the wing. Taken away. Can he generate something from there? Full tender pass. Brought ahead. Oh, poke check. Saved one there. Puck covered. Whistle blown. Anytime you get near a benchmark, you want to achieve it as quickly as possible. He was able to get it done. He can feel some satisfaction in that. An enormous defensive face-off win. Heads on to the corner. Right near the line. Loose puck captured by Broussard. Terrific save, terrific opportunity. A missed opportunity from this close in.
They win the draw. Now can they get it out? A little pass from his goalie here. Penalty call coming. Watch for his signal here. Toledo's given a minor here for tripping. Now oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. Cincinnati's had such good power play numbers this season. Most of it as a result of the way they move and support the puck. Very unpredictable makes it tough for the penalty killers to stymie them because they don't know where the next attack is coming from. I like it, Ray, for sure. We are expecting it to keep going here. And that's the end of the game. Two teams battled pretty hard. Toledo's long winning streak has ended with the final horn of this game. This loss ends a nice winning streak, but they've got to be happy with the way they played here tonight and recently.